Right, question 10, possibly the hardest paper on the paper, typically. Um, question 10 is about uh, nonlinear functions and applications of calculus uh, in kinematic problems. So, uh, the first question, find the expression for the velocity v meters per second of the rocket during the first stage. So, we're given the expression for the acceleration. To find the velocity, we need to use the fact that um, the velocity is the integral of the acceleration. So that's the fact we're going to use. So we need to integrate the acceleration, which is 240 sine 2t with respect to t. Um, this is, uh, some of you might be able to do this without integration by substitution, but I recommend you do use integration by substitution methods. So you say u is 2t, du by dt is 2, so therefore dt equals du over 2. And substitute back in, uh, sub substitute u in, do your integration, uh, resubstitute, and you'll get your expression. Don't forget c, and you need to work out c, the constant, and you are told that v0, the uh, velocity at time 0, is 140. That's given in the question, so don't assume that v is automatically zero. Also, since you're integrating sine, you're going to get an expression in cosine. You're going to have something to do with cosine 2t. Well, um, when t equals zero, you end up with cos zero, and cos zero is not zero. So be very careful when working out c. There's uh, two catches there. One, the initial velocity isn't zero. And the second one is that because you've got the cosine function, the um, expression that includes the variable t doesn't equate to zero either in the way it would with the polynomial or even with sine. So you need to be a bit careful there. Um, part B, the distance travelled during the uh, first stage. Well, the distance travelled, this uses the fact that the distance travelled is the integral of the velocity with respect to time. And it says during the first stage, the distance it travels, the rocket travels during this first stage, um, you know it carries on until uh, the velocity is 375. So you need to find uh, what k is, and k is the um, value of t um, when the velocity is, so you need to put vt equal to 375 um, and find the value of t for which that is true and that becomes k okay so k equals t when vt equals 375 we then go back to our integral and we know that we're talking about from the start so from whenever k is and you need to integrate v with respect to time and that gets you the distance traveled during the first phase